Welcome, everyone. Um, as participants are coming in, they will trickle in. We don't have everybody in the audience that's waiting come in in a blast. Probably would shut down the server. And so we're going to take a minute for everybody that wants to see this presentation to be downloaded. Um, I'm Sandy Carpenter. I'll reintroduce myself later, and you'll see our lovely speaker and panelists on the side. And so we have myself, Montana in the summer, Florida in the winter, uh, Patty Lucan from Arkansas, Corey Berrigan from Minnesota, Karen is from California, but is visiting lovely Sedona. How's the weather in Sedona, Karen? Uh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> But nice, it's nice. In the evening, it's, it's quite pleasant and it's beautiful. And Patty still getting rain? No, no, we've got, actually, we've got sunshine. We've had uh, like six days of sunshine. And Corey, what's it like in Minnesota? I'm actually in Upper Michigan right now. Oh, that's so this right. is Visiting mom. Visiting mom, doing some fishing, exploring all the rivers up here in the wonderful UP, but it's beautiful. The weather is perfect. And we already but. have, we already have a hand raised. Um, when I do the housekeeping, if you have a question or answer, um, because we can't hear you or see you. This is a webinar. Um, please send a question through the Q&A or the chat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm Sandy Carpenter. I'm your host and moderator for this evening. And I'm going to go through um, just a few, a few housekeeping things. And uh, I just want to welcome everyone this evening um, to Women Connect presentation, uh, where we're at where we've been, where we've gone, where we're going. So some housekeeping, if you look up in the corner, um, you want to be on speaker view. If you have any questions, uh, please push the Q&A, please push the chat. We'll be monitoring, it should be at the bottom of your screen. If it goes away, run your arrow over the screen, it should come back up. If, it, if it's a question that waits till the end, we'll go ahead and answer it at the end. Otherwise, if there's a question about the slide, um, please feel free to answer the question. We can stop the talk, totally relax. We just wanna thank the membership of FFI and FFI.org for making these webinars available. We want to uh, tell you that it's hosted by Women Connect and we also will be sponsoring webinars so go to ffi.org to look for upcoming webinars. Go to FFI Women Connect on Facebook. Go to Fly Fishers International Women Connect on Facebook. Go to Women Connect at flyfishers.org. This screen will come up later. So don't everybody be writing frantically. I have to remember all this, but these are all places that you can find fly tying webinars and fly casting webinars and meet other people. And so check out those sites. Um, right now, I would like to uh, introduce our panelists and our speaker. So if uh, you see on the side, that's Patty Lucan. And she is our speaker tonight, Corey Berrigan. She will be a panelist and she's helping move the slides for us. She also has part of a presentation, Karen Hall. Um, she will be giving part of the presentation and myself, Sandy Carpenter. Patty, you are on. Um, I think Patty can't, is having trouble hearing you, Sandy. Oh, Patty, can you hear me? Okay, Patty. Uh-oh. Nope, okay. she can't hear. Patty, you're muted. Patty, unmute yourself. There you go. Okay, I think you're unmuted. Um, 
Um, Mary Ann Dozer has asked that we stop the slide until she's ready to talk. Oh, okay. So you can see screen. it. Okay. Can you quit sharing? I can. Okay. Here you go. Now. Here You're is. You're still muted. Here is Corey, front and center. I'm mm -hmm. Sandy Carpenter. We have Susan Parsons helping Patty Lucan because never fails when you do a Zoom call. We're all learning Zoom and Zoom had a 400% increase during COVID. Um, so bear with us. And the uh, blonde up in the corner is Karen Hall. I had muted myself, but I was on my iPhone. Okay. So okay, there ahead. you go. I can hear you. It's there. Working. We can Hang hear you. Hang on a minute. Woo. No. No, you're good. You were good. Yep, I can still hear That's you. That's because on my I, I, I was called in okay. on my iPhone. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah. I guess you're just going to have to use I don't. I don't understand this. Unless I hang up my iPhone. Let's try that. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. That's great. For some reason. Yes. I don't know. Okay. Why, when I was dialing on my iPhone, so I guess I'm not. Uh, I'm not in. That's okay. All right. We've uh, already started off with some technical difficulties, but hopefully we'll get this together. Are you ready for me, Sandy? I most certainly am, Corey. You can start the slideshow. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, well, for your patience. Welcome everyone to the webinar. This is the uh, only uh, media presentation type that uh, you wonder if the uh, speaker's wearing pants. But anyway, <laughs> you've already met Sandy and uh, Sandy is going to uh, talk with us just a little bit, just a tiny little bit about the history of Women Connect and then we will get into the uh, main part of our presentation. Sandy? Yes. And before I start that, I forgot to mention, we had an anonymous donor that is so supportive of Women Connect that everybody that checks in tonight, a dollar is donated to uh, the Women Connect organization. So um, I, I want to tell her we made a million dollars tonight and uh, everybody was waiting to get into Zoom. So um, anyway, that was, a, that was a nice thing that uh, a donor did. So history of Fly Fishers International Women Connect. So in 2016, FFI decided to do a women's initiative at the yearly expo, trying to drive women into the sport, drive interest in the sport. And this would be to increase membership, um, develop women certified instructors, and to offer women's programs. Uh, the initiative committee was created. Next slide, Corey, please. And um, that was Marianne Dozer, Molly Semenik, Patty Lucan, and myself uh, became the founding members. And did the slide come up? There, there you go. go. There so we if go. You, if you look at this slide um, from left to right, uh, left is Marianne Dozer, and then in the green fish shirt, whoops, back it up one is Patty Lucas. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's myself and on the end is uh, Molly Semenik. So there's your founding members for FFI Women Connect. So in 2017, uh, the FFI Women Connect name was decided and the fair program for the first time included um, a, a women's fly fishing school, a women's fly tying school, and an outside booth tent during the expo. It's the first time in the fair, all these things were offered to women. Uh, we received a donation of wine from Athena and Artemis and a local winery came in and did for, for a social hour at the tent, which drove a lot of interest and a lot of attendance. So then in 2018, because of all this wild, crazy time that the women were having at the expo and the connection, um, the, uh, the magazine, um, Fly, Fly Fusion magazine, decided to give us a grant um, 
to promote Women Connect and to promote for the next year, the booth, the expo, and a social. So in 17, 2017, um, that was decided and we had the donation. So in 2018, with the sponsorship, we had the Fly Tag School was able to add more classes. Um, the student number was increased, increased for the Fly Fishing School. We had a formal social with speakers and we filled three, uh, three and a half tables at the auction. We offered tying, membership info, a place to hang out at the Women Connect booth, and uh, everything was well attended. And then last year, 2019, um, we had all the classes were filled. There was a waiting list for the classes. Um, the social had a movie from Karen Hall, one of our panelists tonight, and uh, Heather Hodson was a volunteer from United Women on the Fly, helped that social be a huge success. Uh, Franny Krieger was presented with the FFI Education Award at the social, and we overflowed that room to capacity. We had volunteers and attendee and membership lists hanging on the wall. They were all filled. Uh, we had over 200 visits to the booth. Um, and moving forward from that, many of these women have continued to be active in Women Connect, interested in Women Connect, um, volunteering for Women Connect. Hattie. All right, thank you. You're uh, welcome. Anyway, um, let's go on and let's talk about a little bit about uh, who we are. And first off, we need to move the slide forward to the one that says who we are. And uh, as you will see, we are part of FFI. So we need to look at the mission of FFI first. And the mission of FFI, next slide, is to actively preserve the legacy of fly fishing for all fish, all waters. So we took that particular mission and as Women Connect members, we refined it a bit. So the next slide, uh, our Women Connect mission is uh, where we want to have a learning and sharing and uh, have a really safe environment for women for, so that women can uh, learn in a non-intimidating environment. We also want to uh, encourage leadership on a local as well as a national level. And uh, we have, uh, that's part of our mission. And we also want to develop fly fishing skills and build confidence and do all of this in a very social setting. So next slide. How do you become a member of FFI Women Connect? There are two requirements. First off, uh, you need to be a member of FFI, and the others, you need to be female. So uh, I'm going to, uh, we're gonna have an offer here at the end. We've got a little suspense right now. There will be a discounted offer, just like you see on TV, if you, uh, within the next 48 hours, uh, become a member of FFI. So we'll talk about that toward the end. Next slide. Now, why do we need Women Connect? That's a question I get asked quite often. And the first reason is women have had over the years have developed their own groups. They didn't feel like maybe that TU or FFI or any of the other uh, primarily male groups were for them. So they made their own groups. Well, what we need to do now, because this industry is going from the very beginnings to maybe more of a little mature level, and so we need to have one voice. There needs to be less fragmentation. And I believe this will help us as we uh, have one voice, we'll have more clout, we'll have more sponsorship, and whenever um, we call Orvis or we call whoever we want to call, they're going to say like, oh, yes, that's Women Connect. We will return that phone call. Uh, the next reason that we need Women Connect is it's women teaching women. And that is so critical. When I looked at, uh, when I first started working with uh, FFI and the women's programs, I would ask like the women, well, um, like, you know, do you do tying or whatever or, or 
you know, and they didn't want their husbands or they didn't want a male teaching them. And that may be uniquely for women. I don't know. Um, but I will tell you that our key, we do have women teaching women. Another key and why we need Women Connect is women enjoy the social aspect of an all-women program. I also think they enjoy the chocolate that we offer at our national programs. But anyway, social is very much a part of Women Connect, and it's very much a part of our learning atmosphere. We also have a safe and supportive atmosphere that attracts um, beginners and other new members. I also find it to be real important for singles and for uh, women that are on their own. So that gives you a, a, a really nice way for us to uh, uh, offer our uh, new people and, and they can come in and feel like that they have a place where they can be safe. Another reason why we need Women Connect is because it brings women into the FFI programming. We need leadership, we need education, and we need to do this not only at FFI on the national level, but in our the local level and in uh, for our chartered and affiliate clubs. So one of the things that we can do is offer that leadership to uh, women so that they can be active in their local clubs. Next slide. What makes Women Connect different from other women's groups? Well, I think we have a number of things that makes us different from other women's groups. One is our very strong educational component. I think if FFI is known for anything, it is known for its educational component. And we offer not only experts in casting and in tying, and they are certified experts. These are people that have certifications that teach the tying and the casting. So we all learn from these experts we learn in a very uh, standardized way, which is awesome because if you have one FFI certified caster and then you need to go talk to another caster, they're gonna teach you the same basic skills in the same basic way. And that is so important because I remember when I first started out, I was, I was just out there like, okay, whoever could teach me something and I'd learn here, well, you do it this way or you do it this way and it was all different for each person. Not so with FFI and not so with FFI Women Connect. We also have the Learning Center and there is a huge amount of quality control with the Learning Center. Uh, Dutch has done a fabulous job putting that together. Um, then we have the stature of FFI is another reason that Women Connect is different from other uh, women's groups. And I think we've kind of talked about that. We are known for our educational component, and I think that helps us a lot. We are also all fish, all waters. We're not limited to trout. We're not limited to saltwater fishing. It's any fish and any waters. I love to smallmouth bass fish. And so I, I love the idea that we're all fish, all waters. We have also have award-winning females in our group. We have Busick Award winners, um, and uh, that's Gretchen Beatty and Gretchen or Beatty. And Gretchen is a uh, fabulous tire, and that's what that means. She's a Buford winner. And we have role models in other areas as well. So it is wonderful to have such great women already in FFI Women Connect, and I think that makes us different than maybe some of the other groups. I wanna talk with you just a minute about Women Connect goals, and we're not gonna go into these in depth, so uh, don't sit back and yawn uh, or fall asleep. Uh, have some popcorn and let's go. Um, our first goal is outreach, and it's two different kinds of outreach. The first one is internal, and the second one is external. And our internal program is kind of what we've just talked about. We want to do leadership. We want to do training. All of these things within our group, within FFI Women Connect. But we also have an external component. 
And that is our outreach program that some people might call an ambassador program. And you're gonna hear more about that when Karen Hall talks about it in just a little bit. But we have, as part of our goal, it's internal and external outreach. We wanna be the resource for other organizations. Our second goal, next slide, is education and skills building. And overall, when we look at this particular goal, is we wanna have fun while we're learning. And I think we do, and I think that is so important to not only be learning, but you want to be doing it in an atmosphere that is not intimidating and that makes you really enjoy the learning process. And I wanna tell you, we had a lady that took our uh, second year in our tying classes that we offered. And that lady started tying then in the Women Connect booth. And so that's how we develop the skills building. We bring them on just a little bit at a time. And she has now developed that she is tying for a fly shop. And she is doing professional tying uh, internationally. So I think it's just fabulous what can be done and that just shows you how we can take a simple skill that we learn and take it forward. Uh, our third goal, next slide, is conservation awareness. Now we're not doing any of our own conservation projects yet, but we do have education uh, in conservation at each outing and we have uh, conservation awareness and education in our classrooms. And one of the best ones I've seen that we've done is on barbed versus barbless hooks and how those affect the survivability of uh, our fish. Goal number four is social. And for women, this is huge. Um, I'm a recent widow and, you know, I love it that we have a large social component because I know that if I want to fish in Florida, I can call up some friends in Florida that I have met through FFI Women Connect and I can go fish there. I know that if someone calls me, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's a wonderful process where I know that they're not gonna be bad people. They're gonna be people that follow the rules, like they won't crowd you, won't be, won't be uh, fish hogs and that sort of thing. And it is a wonderful, wonderful uh, program because I was just figuring uh, before I did this presentation, I had about 15 or 16 states that I could call today and go fish there just for the people that I have met in Women Connect. I would also be fine calling someone that I had not met uh, if I saw them on the FFI Facebook page. So if you want to go somewhere and go fishing or you want to come to Arkansas, all you got to do, get on that Facebook page and say, Patty Lucan, uh, I want to come to Arkansas and go fishing. Tell me about it. And I will. And that happens with uh, virtually all of the Women Connect people. But another part of our um, Women Connect social goal and something that's been we've been doing is we call it zappy hour that is happy hour but it's through zoom so it's zappy hour we recently had one that i this was just really went to the core i thought um the um we were having a zappy hour and one of our members that was on the zappy hour was had just found out she had cancer and that she was going to have to have another surgery to try to get rid of the cancer uh, that she now knew was there. Well, I want you to know the women on that zappy hour just supported her to no end. It was unbelievable the outpouring of love and care that she received at that zappy hour. That's the kind of women that are in FFI Women Connect and you can be a part of that as well. Our fifth goal is leadership. Leadership, um, the women seem sometimes are reluctant to get into leadership or to get into a new role. And women wanna know everything about the new role they're gonna take on before they take it. Now that's way different than men because men will typically say, oh yeah, I can do that. And then they'll go talk to their buddy. Hey, do you know anything about this? I just signed up and said I would do this. Well, women are different. 
So we need to have, and we need to grow our leadership and grow our women so that, uh, that they'll feel comfortable in taking on different roles and new roles. And we wanna be there in a supportive role so that they can be there and know that they've got women supporting them as they move forward. And I also, 20% of FFI right now is um, women and women connect. And we wanna make that at least 50% within five years. Now, I'll tell you, if it goes over 50%, that's not gonna bother me in the least. I don't wanna scare you guys, but I gotta tell you, we're coming and we want to be an equal part and an equal partnership with you in FFI. Our sixth goal is inclusiveness. And what I wanna say about inclusiveness, it's all women, all groups. We want you to be a part of FFI Women Connect. Next slide. You talk about, okay, man, these are some pretty lofty goals that you've talked about, Patty Lucan. Well, they are. And I wanna, we wanna talk next about how we accomplish these goals. And this slide is very important because it's the big reveal. We had a discussion on our Facebook about what to call our uh, ambassador program individuals. And here's the big reveal. You will see they are going to be called liaison and advocates. So um, for those of you that are on tonight that help select those uh, uh, names, uh, congratulations on uh, selecting those. But I want to get someone else to talk instead of me tonight. Karen Hall, who is the um, chair of an ambassador for the Southwest Council that has uh, about 27 uh, clubs in it, is going to talk to us tonight about our outreach program. She is also chair of this program for FFI Women Connect, and she is on our board. Karen? Hi, everybody. Yeah, um, I am the chair on the Southwest Council of Women's Programs, not the, not the whole thing, just making that clear. And I'm very excited to expand the Women Connect program to all the clubs and councils in FFI and beyond. Our, our liaisons, and the, our goal of the liaison network is to provide support and guidance for all of the women's programs in each of the clubs. And so we are encouraging each of our clubs and councils to appoint a woman to be in charge of women's programs. And from our network, we will offer information about what FFI is doing, how to, what programs might work, suggestions for how to put together a fashion show or how to stage an event or how to get sponsors. When I started as the women's program director for the Southwest Council, I had no nobody to tell me what to do. There had been a director a couple of years prior, but there weren't any notes. So I kind of talked around and got some help from friends. And then I, I came up with the program and, and now I'd like to help others as they reach out and, uh, and put together women's events. Uh, we did get a call from the Arizona Casters, Flycasters Club, and they're trying to do a women's conference uh, in Phoenix or near, near there. And um, I am trying to help them with that when it comes together. It's not till next year, so we will work that. Um, and then other things we're doing with Women Connect is I, I had another friend who uh, became the women's program director for a local club. And she is, it's a heavily male dominated club. And she's like, well, how do I, how do I get things done? You know, how do I deal with the board? So I helped her, um, you know, get on the agenda with things like I want to send out an email and find out who the women members are because they weren't tracked and, you know, be able to, to reach out to them for things I want to do, activities. And so all of that we're trying to do within this network and, and build it together and, um, you know, uh, create these mailing lists and email lists of people who can help each other or help you if you want to work on women's programs yourself for your club. And then in addition to that, we want to help prepare people for their leadership positions. And um, we also have, um, we want to also have a, a people who can reach outside our network of clubs 
and those programs might be prominent women in the fly fishing industry and we would like to ask them to be advocates for women connect and um, those women might we might ask them to come and be available to speak uh, or uh, teach or whatever and and those advocates will be our representatives to clubs outside of the ffi network so we can reach out to everybody and um, we're pretty excited about it and i'm very excited about getting more women on the water and helping us raise our goals and so on so i'm happy to to work as chair thank you karen uh, i just wanted to give you that promotion because i know you could do it okay anyway <laughs> thank you yes <laughs> i'm honored i'm honored and, and, and all right to help everybody Karen, out however I can. And Karen, you've already reached out to the councils uh, to uh, start the appointment process on uh, getting uh, our uh, liaisons for the different clubs and councils? Yes, we are encouraging the councils first to get their a women's program director in place and a couple of them have done that and then uh, some of the clubs are beginning to do that as well but it's a, it's a process, you know, building that list so that we know who's, who's available and who we can talk to and who needs help. But uh, I want to let everyone know that I'm here to help you get going with your program. So Thank if you're you. on tonight and you want to take up a leadership role with Women Connect, uh, Karen is the person you need to contact, or, or any of us actually, and we will have some contact information here at the end for you. And I know that Sandy's going to put some up on the, uh, uh, in the, uh, probably the, the chat or the Q&A. She'll have that up for us uh, throughout this, uh, this process. Okay, thank you, Karen. And uh, we also have another panelist, uh, Corey Behringer, and she's going to talk to us about outreach to other women's groups. I said I wanted to be the, uh, our, one of our goals for FFI Women Connect is to be, uh, we want to be the resource for all women's groups. And Corey's group has about 180 people and it is the Minnesota Women and it's not affiliated with FFI. Now, one of these days we hope to get them to be affiliated, but right now they're not. And Corey is going to talk to us a little bit about some of the things that we have done with her that she feels um, have been helpful. Corey? Hi, everybody. My name is Corey Berrigan. So I'm the chair of Fly Fishing Women of Minnesota. So as chair, my goal is to provide our membership with continuous learning opportunities, uh, build on their fly fishing skills, and of course, camaraderie. So with FFI Women Connect, they offer expert professional resources in casting, fly fishing, fly tying, and converse, conservation. Um, their wealth of knowledge is above any other organization. And Women Connect are willing to support your club, which I have personally experienced. Um, besides being a fun group of women that I have enjoyed immensely getting to know. So I highly recommend reaching out to Women Connect. So here, here's an example of, you know, support that you can get for your club. FFI Women Connect, they can provide a contact uh, of a ca casting instructor in your area. You can find a casting instructor through the website as well, um, but finding a casting instructor, this will improve like my club's ability to offer structured fly fishing content through either a casting instruction or facilitating a casting skills challenge for our membership. And this is something I really wanna do. So by establishing a casting skills challenge for my club, I'm gonna reach out to Women Connect, which I have. I found a certified casting instructor, uh, which in my area is Marlene Houston. So, but I'm gonna create this challenge for our intermediate and our advanced members who normally teach at our clinics and we call them river mentors. So our river mentors who participate in this casting skills challenge, they have an opportunity to improve their skills and their knowledge. They will also build confidence in their teaching and develop consistent casting terminology. This all improves fly fishing women of Minnesota's teaching methods. 
therefore accelerating our beginners fly fishing skills in a consistent and professional manner. Um, another advantage of doing this casting skills challenge is that our river mentors who pass this, they can then choose to move on to becoming a CCI. Going through this process of attaining these awards will build a strong foundation to pass your CCI exam that certified casting instructor. So keep in mind attaining your CCI is dedication and hard work. You need to practice, 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 and study to be a CCI. And last but not least, Women Connect is fun. And a network, networking opportunity to meet more fly fishing women from around the world. And that's all I have. Thank you, Patty. All right, and uh, Corey is our communications person, and she is absolutely fabulous at doing that. We really appreciate all the work that she does. And I know that you have, uh, you're working on your uh, CCI now, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah, yes, well, good, definitely. good luck with that. Thank you. It's a lot of work and it's an eye-opening experience to start working on it, that's for sure. And is Mary Ann your mentor, Mary Ann Dozer? Yes, I'm in Mary Ann Dozer's study group and I'm also working with my local CI, Marlene Houston. She's helping coach my casting, you know, so I get that in-person connection. All right, and you are a member of FFI. Oh yes, I have been for the past few years. All right. All right, well, let's talk about then. Thank you so much, Corey. Uh, how we accomplish our goals. Let's go on to the next item. We work with FFI clubs to set up women's programs. And frankly, I think Corey really addressed that part uh, uh, as well. And well, so did Karen. So uh, our social networking through Facebook and Instagram. And uh, Corey has been awesome in doing a lot of the work and setting this up and making us uh, pushing some of us into the 21st century. We've also, uh, we have organized national workshops and we've got events and trips. And of course, we'll have to wait till after COVID-19 to actually implement some of these, but we have had some in the past. And uh, so that is one of the major ways that we will get together socially and uh, where we can, from an international basis, everyone can get together and attend workshops or events. And then we wanna have fun. And Corey has just told you that she has fun. And I can tell you I do, and I think you will too. All right, let's talk about our current programming and what we have going. If you'll show me the next slide. One of the things I already mentioned, we've got weekly, uh, well, I didn't say that one, weekly tying events on Zoom. And we also have some webinars. We've got um, Al and Gretchen Beatty are going to be doing a five week uh, program on, it's a webinars on tying. And it starts uh, next Tuesday, the 23rd at 7 p.m. Central. So tune in, or 7.30 Central. Uh, I've already talked about the Zoom Zappy Hour. We have casting and tying workshops. Uh, we're going to have uh, our first one on November 11th through the 14th, 2020. That will be in uh, Mountain Home, Arkansas. And uh, we're going to do the casting challenge. And you're going to start kind of seeing how you would do the bronze award in tying. We also have coming up in March in April, the second annual Tying Awards Workshop, and that's also going to be in Mountain Home, Arkansas in March next year. This, the first one was fabulous. We had 14 people, and about half of those have already earned um, their whatever level of, uh, I call them medal awards, or bronze, silver, and gold awards uh, that they were working toward when they came to the workshop. And we hope to have everyone that was at the workshop to earn those shortly. We've got a Driftless Area Fishing event, and it says September 2021. And um, that's now set because we have our committee, and it's going to be the second week of September 2021. We have an Amazon 
fishing trip for peacock bass, which is, uh, and I'm really excited about this because this was on my bucket list. And uh, we've already had a speaker talk about that last week. And he is um, going to talk to us about it even more. He's gonna work with us on tying and specific ways to fish and all that sort of thing in future webinars. So um, that's September, 2022. Now the reason it's 2022 is we all need to save our money. And I will tell you that if you are interested in that trip, you can save your, you can put money down and just keep putting money down until like right before the trip. And by then you have to have it all down. But anyway, they have allowed us to be able to do it a little bit at a time. Obviously our current programming is support to local councils and clubs. And this is what we, with our outreach program, we're really working hard on that. Hey, I see a question that just came up. The Driftless area is in four states, Wisconsin, Minnesota. We're gonna be in Minnesota um, and uh, Iowa. And uh, oh, Corey, you're gonna have to tell me the fourth one. Okay. Wikipedia is a good resource if you want to find out more about the Driftless. So it's four states, the quad area of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, and Iowa. So the, yeah, it's, 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 it's unique globally. So it's, it's a precious area and it's a great place to go fly fishing for trout. And I was up there, uh, and I just fished in Iowa, but I was up there uh, uh, bef right before COVID, and uh, man, it is beautiful. So uh, that's going to be a fun place to go. And uh, Corey's uh, group is uh, putting together a fabulous uh, program for us. We've also got our monthly Zoom speakers uh, on fishing. So uh, anyway, just different fishing topics. So if you uh, want to join one of those, uh, please feel free to. We uh, have that on our Facebook. We uh, talk about it and also FFI has uh, been uh, uh, supportive. Our contact information. Uh, next slide, please, Corey. Um, here is information. Uh, our email, Facebook, Instagram, and you can email me as well. We will get back with you. Of course, we're probably going to be overwhelmed tonight with all of the people that want to know more. So it may take us, oh, I don't know, five or six hours to do it, but we'll do it. Now, I'm hoping that this has caused you to be excited about FFI Women Connect. I think it is best thing since sliced bread, but you know, that's me. But if you want to be, you know, when we were in high school or whatever, you always wanted to be in the cool group. You always wanted to be in the up and coming group and the people in the know. FFI Women Connect is that group. You need to join FFI Women Connect. And how you do that, you become a member of FFI. And I told you earlier that we were gonna have uh, something like a TV commercial. So with, if you join within the next 48 hours, 48 hours, you get $5 off the membership. Just tell them that you heard it tonight on the FFI Women Connect presentation. Or if you heard it through your friend that was at the FFI Women Connect presentation, um, you're gonna get, with this, you're going to get all kinds of things. So not only are you gonna get your membership in Women Connect and all the programming that we're doing and will be doing, but you are going to give, um, you're gonna get FFI. So it's like, you know, the extra toaster that you get or the extra whatever, and there's not even postage. So go to FFI and sign up within the next 48 hours or if you uh, go to our email and we can send you a form. So um, we've also got, um, and I, I just saw something there said to the girls that are already in it, get a gold star. You bet you do. Uh, matter of fact, we call us, we just can all be gold stars if we're already in it. I really appreciate all of the people that already support Women Connect and I can't say that enough because without your support, your uh, leadership and your coming to the programs and being on Facebook and all of those things, there wouldn't be a Women Connect. 
this would not be the coolest place to be. So join Women Connect. And Marianne, can you put your chat back up there? Uh, there's a casting uh, seminar that we need to. Uh, that I've got it. We um, need to it's, a, it's, a, it, it's a webinar on June 30th, Better Cast, More Fish, uh, that's put on by Marianne Dozer. So thank you, Marianne. Marianne is a fabulous supporter of Women Connect. She's a consultant for our group and does a tremendous amount of uh, work to uh, help our group. All right, do y'all have questions? Another question came up, um, what are the numbers and, and available to go on the trip for the Driftless and for Brazil? So what, say that question again. What are, what are the numbers that are available to go on the trip? I believe that can go? we still have 12 slots left for the Brazil trip uh, to the Amazon. And uh, for the Driftless, everybody can come uh, as soon as we have hotel rooms. I think we can, uh, and I'll sleep in my camper if we need to, uh, if we don't have enough hotel rooms to get more women there. This will be a relatively inexpensive trip, and we want to have as many women come as that can come. Uh, Karen, I interrupted you. Did you have a question? I just wanted to mention that Marianne is a master casting instructor, so she um, is an excellent teacher, so that webinar is worth, worth going to. Thank you. That master is one level up from a... Well, it's yeah. more than one level up. It's pretty hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have a good instructor. Um, I also want to let everybody know um, I'm going to be putting up a poll. The poll is anonymous, um, and I'll be sharing the poll results. Are you ready for me to put that poll up, Patty? Yes, if there, and if there's more questions, um, I, would love to, uh, I would love to answer. You can answer while we're putting the poll up. It takes out. It takes a little bit for this um, for this poll to come up and for everybody to answer. Um, and we would just really like to thank everybody for the support and for showing up tonight. And uh, would love to meet all of you. So please go on our Facebook page. Please go on our Facebook group. Please contact us at uh, Women Connect at FlyFishersInternational.org. Uh, Patty is the president or, and the chairperson of the uh, Women Connect Executive Committee. I'm the chair. Karen's on the committee. Corey's on the committee. We have a treasurer, Susan Utterbach. We have a secretary. Uh, what's Willa's last name? I just spaced Campbell. it out. <laughs> yeah. Willa Campbell. Sorry, Willa, if you're listening. I had a, I had a little zip there. Um, and so we would love, love, love to meet all of you. So. Um, Come on and introduce yourself. And All if right. you want to inter yeah, introduce yourself through uh, Facebook or Instagram or talk to us on email. Um, and if you really want to talk to us, um, you know, you can call us. Uh, I do take phone calls. I'm pretty immersed in uh, Women Connect right now. All and I right. think we yeah. had uh, 62 on at one time. Um, Yes, we had we had 62 and we have 73% uh, voted so far. So thank you, thank you, thank you for those that are filling out the poll. I'll give it uh, 20, I'll give it 20 more seconds. Uh, we have 75%. I will, uh, I will end the poll and then I will, um, I'll share that with everybody. We now have 76 that voted. Um, so we have well, and right. we've got sixty-two dollars that's going to Women Connect. And Peggy Brenner wants to know how to get a copy of the poll. You're going to show that poll here in just a minute, aren't you? Yes, I will. Um, I just want to make sure that I get all the numbers written down in case I have a blip. Um, I can share those numbers. Then um, we have. Um, the last one we have zero zero seven nine forty and twenty seven. All right, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, 
and then 34 and 11. Okay, I'm going to end the poll and I will share the results. Can everybody see it? All right, great. Um, I, I did get a uh, question. I, was this recorded tonight or they thought it was being recorded? And yes, uh, yes you will be able to view this uh, on the FFI website or on their uh, page. They, you can go in there and you can view the um, uh, program. And matter of fact, if you'll let me know, uh, you view the program and if you'll let me know or let that, that you viewed it uh, or you know someone that needs to view it, uh, I bet I can talk to the uh, donor into uh, counting those folks to give us a dollar for each person that views it. All right, is everybody done with the poll? Okay, well, thank you again. And we will end the broadcast here. Thank you all for participating tonight for the panelists. Thank you for our moderator. Thank you for FFI for allowing us to do this. And everybody stay healthy.